How did he escape? I don't know. I don't know. What do we do? We don't have the police support. We fight. We always fight. Halloween Kills is the latest film in the Halloween franchise, and while it looks to be just as gory and bloody as you can expect, you are guaranteed to have more than your fair share of horror and gore if that's what you're into. What makes it even better is that it drops only two weeks before Halloween, and this means that it will be the perfect movie for you to stream on Halloween night. If you're not too chicken, that is. Okay, it's not safe. You gonna kill me? <laughs> Satan, not today. Oh, I'm so scared. Anyways, we recently got a pick at some behind-the-scenes action for Halloween. Halloween Kills, and while it kind of shows us how the film was shot and everything that went into making it, it somehow doesn't take away from the scariness of the film. Without much further ado, here is a breakdown of the behind-the-scenes action for Halloween Kills. We start off with the director of the film, David Gordon Green, talking about how he didn't think about how difficult the film would be to execute while he was writing it. Yeah, in addition to being the director, David Gordon Green is also one of the writers. Talk about a man who has many talents! David also said that he felt like the film had to live up to its title, and I think this means there's gonna be a lot of deaths in the film. Cause well, that's literally the only way I can think of that the movie could live up to its name. David also said they were able to create a bigger, better, nastier, and crazier version of the main character, Michael Myers. David revealed that the movie picked up from where the last film in the Hollywood franchise, Halloween, ended in 2018. If you watched Halloween in 2018, then you know that Michael Myers was trapped in a fire, and well, we all thought that he was gone for good, because it's almost impossible for anyone to survive a fire. In fact, the fire was so big that it can only be described as an inferno. It's a trap. So yeah, at the end of the film we all assumed that Michael was going to be killed in the fire, but it turns out that he wasn't because Halloween Kills starts off with him emerging from the fire. Not only is he not dead, but he doesn't even look like he's seriously hurt because he somehow still has enough power to take out the team of firefighters that are at the scene to put out the fire. David explained how they had to rig the house full of propane, diesel, fuel, and other flammable gases to ignite it. A man on the set said that they had to make the scene more dirty and more effed up, and judging by the fire and shots on the scene, Scene, I have to admit that it looks pretty effed up. David announced to the actors and possibly the crew that they needed more bloody spurts when Michael Myers is hitting the firefighters with what looks like a sledgehammer, and tells them to do they can do what they want with that information. I guess they did what they want because the scene is gory and has a lot of blood spurts and spills. A lot. We then see a shot of the house burning brightly with no firefighters to put it out, and we get a super creepy shot of Michael Myers staring straight into the camera, and I'm not ashamed to admit it, that sent shivers down my spine. I want to take his mask off and see the life leave his eyes. Next, you see David Gordon Green in an interview where he asks if he gets sad whenever he has to kill off cast members. David replied and said, It depends on who we're killing. I think that I kind of understand him because while it may be tough to kill off cast members sometimes, it is often a necessary kill, especially in a franchise such as Halloween Kills, which is known for its gore and how many people die in each film. I mean, it's like everyone has died except Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, so I'm pretty sure that David has done more than his fair share of of killing, metaphorically of course. David went further to say that Michael Myers has a sense of humor and sense of design about his killings, and even a bit of playfulness to it. He said that every kill has its own character, and we see him in the next shot explaining to a character how the knife is going to come slashing down her throat and chest, and how she's supposed to react. He told her, maybe you die for him like that and that's when he jabs you. Make a big ol' opera of it. I just hope that he's holding a fake prosthetic knife and not a real one, because the last thing we would want is having someone sliced open for real while shooting. While it's not uncommon for actors to get injured on set while filming, something like an accidental slashing on set would be very tragic, and I don't want to imagine the lawsuits that would follow. Kyle Richards, who played Lindsay Wallace, broke her nose on set while filming, but that is a minor accident that is pretty common while shooting films like this. David further explained that he had to integrate the substance of who is being killed into the movie. We see him explaining an action sequence to a character who I guess is going to die in the scene. He said, Maybe we slide out with him and see him go from that room to this this one. That would be really nice. Suddenly, we cut to a scene with some really realistic looking eyeballs, and oh my gosh, this one gave me quite a scare, I'm not gonna lie. One second we were watching him explain to a character what to do, and the next we had these creepy looking eyeballs literally shoved in our faces, and it's quite shocking. David said that some parts of the movie were going for the gore effect, and well, I have to admit that they got that on lock. I'm not the only one that thinks this, because in the next shot, we see cast members saying, this is effing terrifying, I'm not going to look at that. It's good to know that I'm not 
not the only one that finds things in the movie creepy and absolutely terrifying. Next, we see Michael Myers slaughter a man and blood spurts everywhere, even on camera. I'm not sure how the cast and crew managed to deal with all this gore, and I wouldn't be surprised in the least if some of them had to throw up in between takes. David revealed that it's sometimes surreal and traumatic to work on the set every day and feel a little nostalgic and terrified. Um, I get the terrified part because, well, I'm kind of terrified even though I'm sat at home and far away from all the action, so I can't imagine what it would be like for the cast and crew to actually work in the middle of the gore and horror. I would have nightmares for weeks. But what I don't get is the nostalgic part. I mean, I'd assume that anyone would be relieved to get it over and done with, but it looks like David actually enjoys filming the horror franchise. Well, different strokes for different folks, I guess. Another thing about what he said about feeling nostalgic about the end of the filming is that it makes me wonder if we're going to get yet another film in the Halloween franchise. There are already more than 10 films in the franchise, and the franchise has been around for more than 40 years. So I did some digging, and it turns out there is another Halloween movie that is slated for release in 2022. So I guess it's safe to say that the horror and terror never really ends. If the film is anything like the behind the scenes, well, I'm going to say that you better watch it with a friend, and you better sleep with the light on, just in case. You never know what or who may be with you in the dark. The last thing you want is Michael Myers slipping out of your closet at night. <laughs> just kidding. Well, kind of. I'm going to be keeping the lights on now. Anyways, now it's time for you to tell me what you think. What do you think about Halloween Kills? Do you like the Halloween franchise in general, or do you think that it has been dragging on for far too long and needs to end already? Don't be shy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future uploads. See you next time.